What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthoxy and welcome back today to Slime Rancher! How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Yes, it is time once again to journey into our magical world of slime. And oh my goodness, last episode was really cool. So, what we did just to do a sneaky cheeky little recap. Was this last episode? Yeah, I think it was. We actually went and explored the mines. At least I think it was called The Mines. It was a crazy underground place. And in that episode, we also found a brand new radioactive slime, which if we go and check our little board here, uh, it is 57 monies per plot, which is pretty good, actually. As you can see here, the ones that we're using mainly, we're still using the rock, the tabby and the honey. But the prices are kind of going a little bit down. So today, what I was thinking is what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to catch some rad slimes and... I was also thinking, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so yeah, last episode as well, right at the end, we actually unlocked this brand new area, which I think this is kind of one of the areas that you're supposed to unlock kind of early on. But to be honest, I really like the overgrowth. So the overgrowth is through there. It's a really good place for food. And we've mainly got all of our food growing there. I'll go and visit that in just a second. But yeah, this is the cave. And if we go inside, dun, 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 we can now, uh, we can now like farm the uh, what are they call the phosphor slimes yeah so the cool thing about this is because it's always dark inside our phosphor slimes won't despawn and we can use them now to get some coins so hmm this is something that i wanted to try and <laughs> to be honest i'm a little bit concerned about it but what i want to do is i actually want to see if we can breed phosphor uh, what are they called? Phosphor, oh, radiation, yeah, I want to I do the phosphor radiation hybrid because that will drop phosphor and radiation plots so we can double up our money. The only thing that I'm worried about is that if we do that, it may, like, they may break out and stuff and just be a nuisance. So I'm going to buy an air net. What's a solar shield? Well, in case a coral in a dim shade, protect oh, oh, so we can actually farm... Um, the phosphor slimes outside if we have a solar shield. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, that's really cool. And we can actually stick a music box on here. So this is just a complete experiment, but I'm going to try it. Uh, and I'm going to spend like all the money I've got right now on just a very nice little um, collector. So look at that. We've got a double tall. We've got an air net. We've got a collector and we've got a feeder. No, we've got a collector and we've got a... Um... What else did we put on here? completely forgotten already uh oh yeah an auto feeder ha huh. so an auto feeder i didn't actually mean to put <laughs> i didn't mean to put an auto feeder on here to be honest with you but hey we've spent it now we've got no coins fantastic so between last episode and this episode i also did a few little bits and pieces well i actually just built this so this is a silo and i upgraded it to the third tier we can actually get one more tier on here if we want but basically this just means that we can store goodies so i've got a few heartbeats in here i've got a few carrots and it seems like we're pretty good at growing vegetables <laughs> vegetables is kind of the thing that we're pretty decent at growing it seems we get a lot of them and i was thinking hey instead of throwing them away because we are going to kind of need them let's just uh let's just collect them because why the heck not right so let me grab these bad boys let me uh grab these chickens so another thing we need to do as well is i'd really want to get a coop going because chickens are really easy for meat and we have slimes that eat meat. So what I don't know actually is if we if we have our phosphor slimes, phosphor eat fruit and rad eat veggie. So what if I combine rad slimes with phosphor plorts? Will they eat anything? Will they eat veggies? Will they eat fruits? I have no idea. But I'd rather them eating veggies than fruits because we've got more fruits than veggies. You see what I mean? It's a very healthy farm we've got, lads. You see what I mean? We're <laughs> growing lots of fruits and vegetables. Everything is happy. Got some chickens who won't last very long on the farm because I feed them to slimes. But it's okay. Oh. Oh, okay. And my kubri bush has died. All right. No problem. No problem. So let me stick one of these bad boys in here. Let's grow another kubri bush. Uh, let me grab these carrots whilst we're at it. Uh, let me grab this chicken. So I could do with it being nighttime because I do need some phosphor plots. But at the same time, did those guys spawn in the mines? That I can't actually remember. Hmm, I can't remember actually. Okay, let me let me give my uh, honey slimes here some fruit. So they'll be happy. Fantastic. Are these guys ready? They're pretty much ready. We've also got odd onions, <laughs> which is kind of cool. We've got loads and loads of crops growing, which is amazing. You know, it's a case of 
we're not really... You see, I kind of, as much as I, I know that the, the, the hybrid slimes are much better for, for making money, it just seems like they come with a lot more problems. You know, they start breaking out and this, that, and the other. So I thought, you know what? <sighs> Let's just go with uh, let's just go with single slimes for now. But hey, we could change that at some point. We're, we're gonna have a go with the hybrid slime today. So let me feed these guys up. We have no money, but that's okay. Let's actually go. Oh, oh, of course. Do you remember last episode when we went to the mines? We can now actually like bypass it, and we can go through the teleporter, and then we'll be instantly there, which is gonna be really good for our radiation slimes. So what was I saying then? I want to get rad slimes, and I want to feed them phosphor plorts. Yeah, we'll do it that way around. Um, oh, loads and loads of stone guys here. I kind of want the plorts, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, should I, should I, should I not? I don't know. Let's go and try and find some radiation slimes. They should be close. So whilst we have a little trek here through the cave, I kind of feel like we should really try and unlock the lab as soon as we can. Um, there's loads of things, like I mentioned at the end, at the beginning of last episode even, that there had been an update recently in Slime Rancher, which allowed um, for this new area. I still have no idea where that is exactly, but there's like a more recent update. But the update before that, oh, all of my radiation signs have been eaten. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, let's see if we can find some more. Hello? Hello? Oh, we need to build a pond as well because we've got loads of pond slimes that we could use, which would actually be really cool. Um, okay, let's go over here. So, ooh, can we make that? Do you think we can make this? I mean, I've got nothing in my inventory. Let's give it a go. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Nice! We haven't been here yet. Huh. Okay, let me break open these. Oh, no, no, no. Before these guys get eaten. Oh, let me grab a rad slime. Yes, let me grab these rad slimes before they get eaten. Come here. No. Oh, God. Radiation everywhere. <laughs> Is rad slimes a good idea? I have no idea. Let's just find out. Uh, but yeah, we haven't been here yet. I thought you couldn't get over here, but then I forgot. Hey, we've actually got the jump boost. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, there's like the slime science aspect of it, which I really want to... to s <gasps> hey! Hello, Rock Auto. Nice. Oh, we've got loads of veggies to feed him as well. Hey, I knew keeping them in my little things would be useful. Okay, so now we've also got another little goal there, which is once we get once we get these radiation slimes. Come here, rad slime. Damn you, come here. Yes, there we go. <laughs> so we've got five. That's a pretty good start. Where does this go? Huh. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. These are, these are pink... Oh god, Craig, these are Lagos. Okay, they're, they're, they're not very friendly, but okay, let's get over here. Whoa! <laughs> I'm so terrified of falling down in this game. Like, that's the only thing that's difficult about this game. It's trying to stay alive. Man, this place is way bigger than I thought it was. Let's get these rad slimes. Let me get rid of these guys. Wow! So none of this we saw in last episode. I thought it was actually quite small, but turns out this place is huge. That I did not know. Okay, well, seeing as we're here, we might as well we might as well look. So, we found one Gordo slime, which was a rock one. So we can get loads of veggies, and we can go and like burst him open in just a second. But before we do that, let's keep let's keep exploring. <laughs> I always say like I want to go and do loads of farming, and I want to do that side of this game. But always, every single time, I get distracted by just exploring. It's such a cool map as well. Man, this is huge. So did you see the teleporter there? I don't know where that takes us, but I guess there's one way to find out. So we know we can get out if we want to. I'm I'm so lost right now. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Um, it just keeps going. What? Where is this? Oh! Hey! Okay, so new slime. That might be the update. That might be where the update takes us. Maybe. I don't know for certain. Ow. Dudes, chill. Are you kidding me? Can we get over here then? I don't think we can make that jump. We'll give it a go. Oh! Yes! We can! Hey! Where is this going? Oh, and I can actually get some phosphor uh, plorts, so I should, I should probably try and get a few of these guys as well, because we do need them, but where is this? <laughs> I swear, like, this has just tripled in size since we were here last. Oh, God. Um, Wait, did we just turn around? Yeah, I think we did. Okay. What's down here, then? Hello? Hello? How am I going to get back? I think that's... 
that's the one thing I'm slightly concerned about. It's like, yeah, we're going down here and it's amazing and there's loads of new areas to explore, but how on earth are we going to get back? There's nothing here. What? I mean, this would be an amazing place to put a Gordo slime, but no. It just ends. Huh. All right, you know what? Let's actually get back. Um... <laughs> let's go and do what we want to do, and then let's go and uh, explode that Gordo slime, and uh, yeah. I think we should do that, otherwise we're just going to get super distracted and not do anything that we were supposed to do this episode, so... Ugh! Right, now I need to try and find where that teleport was. Wait, what slime are you? Oh, it's a boom slime, okay. Right, so here's that teleporter we found, so where is this going to take us? Oh! Hey! Tasty! I got an achievement as well. <laughs> cool, okay, so we're back at the actual farm once again which I wasn't quite expecting. Let's feed these onions to my slimes. Um, so we need a couple more phosphor slimes, or we just need the plorts anyway. No, get out of here. Get out of here, boys. There we go. Okay, so we need some phosphor plorts. So you know what we're going to do? Uh, oh, stop eating them. You're greedy. Yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. Okay, there's a phosphor plort. All right, so we need a few of these. So you know what we're going to do? Let's just... Um, Let's just farm what we need. So their favorite food is fruit, which is kind of easy to get. So let's just grab these off this tree. Yes, okay, get rid of, get rid of the pink slime. <laughs> oh no, it's water, come on. Yes, let me get rid of these. So let me grab these fruits off this tree. Come on, yes, okay, nice. Let me grab that one as well. Um, so let me, oh, I need to go somewhere where there's no slimes. Uh, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it like here, okay. So, oh, tar. Are you kidding me? I've got no water. Hmm. Okay, it should be fine. So let me just put these guys down here. Let me put my pogo fruit down. All of you guys eat it. Yes. Give me your plots. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. That should be a good way of doing it. There's four. I mean, what we could do, actually, come to think of it, is if we... Oh, you've gone into a big one. Or have you? Uh, okay, okay, no, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So you know what we do? Let's actually keep these slimes because if we, um, hmm, I'll tell you what, I need to make some more money. Let's see how many, how many, oh, goodness me, we've got loads. Okay, let me go and sell some rock plots. See, what I'm thinking is we can have a separate corral for just the small, uh, oh, goodness, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we can have a separate corral for just the small phosphor slimes, and then at least if the other one goes wrong then we can actually just have the little ones. The question is, though, is we need to actually get some more money to afford that because we're going to have to put an air net on it. So let me just sell my plot reserves here. I've got quite a good amount from feeding these guys. So let me just grab the rest of these. Hey, and I've got a ton of honey ones as well. Nice. Oh, that's actually going... <laughs> this is going to plan. So yeah, like once you um, once you unlock the farms and then you start getting the, the feeders and the collectors and stuff, it makes life so much easier. I mean, these are only 24 each, but you know what? It says at the beginning of the game, like, smart farmers will wait until the money is high. But you know what? I'm kind of an eager beaver when it comes to this game. You know, I just want to kind of get loads of stuff. So I'm not too bothered about it being like a couple of uh, coins cheaper. But all right, so this is what I want to try and do. I'm going to put in five rad slimes. Three, four, five. And then I'm going to put in five phosphor plots. Okay. So now I have Phosphor Rad Largos. I don't think it matters which way you feed them, to be honest. Oh, look at that. So it says diet fruit and veggies. So it doesn't matter which way we feed them. Okay, that's awesome. Um, and then you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to just a little bit away from these, open up another corral. I'm going to put an air net on it. Uh, and then I'm going to stick in the Phosphor Slimes. There we go. Nice. Cool. I mean, I could open up a third one and put Radiation Slimes in just, but... I mean, if these guys stay in their corral, it should be fine. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. If they start breaking out, then we're going to have some problems. But okay, so we need to feed these guys fruits and veggies. So let's um, let's go and grab some... What have we got here? Uh, we've got some beets. You know what? Let's just grab the beets. Go. Nice. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could put the little slimes in there as well, couldn't I? I could. I mean, the thing is, like, I don't know. I don't know what's best. <laughs> I don't know if it's best to have separate corrals and then have hybrids in one and then red slimes in the other one and then phosphor in the other one or just to combine them all together. Like, that's what I don't know. And the thing is, as well, does the plot collector... Oh, yeah, it does. It collects both types. Hmm. 
Okay, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's best. I mean, we've got space for another one. Should we just do it? Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Because we might as well have, like, as many things as we can have. So, let's stick... Uh, do we need an air net? We need high walls for these guys. Can we afford an air net? Yeah, we can. You know what? Let's just stick the rad slimes in here. Oh, God! Wait, that didn't work. Get in there. <laughs> okay, so we've got some radiation slimes in there, so we can... We can try and try these guys out. I'm worried that they're going to break out. Hmm. See, another thing that I'm thinking as well is that, yeah, these guys are good, these Largos, and there's five of them, but they only eat for five. Whereas I know that I can have way more of the little ones in one corral together, and then each time that they eat, they'll tend to probably eat a few more. See, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it might be better just to keep farming the the non-hybrids. Like the single ones. I really don't know what's best. I mean, we can experiment it with. Let's, well, the first thing we should do is we should actually see if these guys actually stay in the corral. I mean, they've got food in there. To be honest, we should probably have the auto feeder. Um, but we can't afford it just yet. But that might be a good way of keeping those guys. Because we're just, like, wasting food on the ground. So, I tell you what we'll do. Before we... Oh, I'm going to go and feed that Gordo Slime in just a second. But before we do that, let's... Um, let's see how much these plorts are. So, rad plorts are... Wow, they're 63 each. That's really good. And Phosphor Plorts are 28. So to be honest, we should really be prioritizing the, the Radiation Slime. That seems like a good way of doing it. Let's stick some carrots in there. Let's just get some, some Oka Oka in there. Fantastic. How many Plorts have we got here? 70? Nice. <laughs> oh, I'm quite a good farmer. I think I'm quite a good farmer. I feel like a good farmer anyway. You know what I mean? But yeah, so maybe we should go and get more radiation slimes and then try and just farm those guys because they only eat veggies. It's like really easy for me to get veggies. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go and get some more rad slimes. Oh yeah, and I haven't forgot about this dude either. Um, I've got some vegetables here with me. Uh, the problem is now is I'm growing way too many carrots. <laughs> so I've just got an absolute ton of carrots here. So I thought, well, we'll just bring some with us and let's just feed him. And I think I might be able to scavenge the rest from the ground. So I did see loads of them as I went past. I've got a few more radiation slimes, which is good. So I'm going to take those guys back with me. Did you eat all my vegetables? You greedy little sausages. Are you kidding? Hey, there was loads here a second. Oh, <laughs> so they appear to have eaten all my vegetables. I guess they're very, very hungry slimes here today. Ooh, goodness me, don't fall down there. Don't fall down there. Okay, so I was planning on actually scavenging the rest of them. But, oh, goodness me, look how many slimes just spawned. Oh, man. Okay, we've got some heartbeats. Uh, yeah, let me try and scavenge just a few more vegetables from this area. Uh, I was actually expecting there to be a few more. Oh, here we go. Yeah, perfect. So we've got a few uh, Oka Oka. We've got some more rad slimes. Nice. I'm going to take you guys. Oh, okay. Okay, you just, you've just eaten my carrot, which is very annoying, actually. But <laughs> I don't think we need too many more. What is that? Oh, it's gone. What was that? Was that a gold slime? Oh, no. Did we miss out on a gold slime? I've heard about the gold slime. They're like, their plorts are so expensive. No. How, it was there. And then it disappeared. What? Oh, that's so annoying. Are you kidding me? So I feel like if we would have caught that dude, we could have used him for like farming gold plorts, which sell for like 200 a piece. Oh, all right. Next time we see a gold one, we've got to be way quicker. Hey, there we go, there we go. So it just took a few more carrots and boom! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, unlocked another teleporter. Nice. Okay. So we've got so many things here. Let me grab these chests. I also saw another chest down here somewhere. Where was it? There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, so I can't believe we just saw our first gold slime and we didn't get it. That's so annoying. Are you kidding me? Oh, was there a heartbeat here somewhere? Oh, did they get eaten? Oh, I was going to take that back with me. That's really annoying. Oh, well. Okay, never mind, never mind. So where does this go? Oh. Wait, where is this now? Is this another new area? I have no idea where we are. Is this a... I feel like this is a brand new area. Uh... 
Okay, well, let's not explore this too much today. I think this would be a really cool place to come in next episode. I'm kind of on a mission right now, though. But hey, that's really cool. This looks like a new area. Okay, so we know where that is now. That's in the middle of the mines. And I know how to get here, so it's all good. Um, but I've got loads of rad slimes here. And I want to try and make some fat stacks of cash. So let me get back. I'm going to go to that teleporter here around the corner. And bloop. There we go. We're back. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, my goodness. All my crops are ready. <laughs> oh, there's too many carrots here, lads. I mean, <laughs> I'm growing far too many carrots. Okay, that's still growing carrots and heartbeats. You know what? You know what? I, I wanna I wanna I wanna grow. I'm gonna remove this crop um, because these odd onions don't really do anything. I thought they'd do something special, but they kind of don't. Um didn't I just get rid of remove crops? Huh. Okay, let me grow some uh, heartbeats here instead. Uh, and yeah, check this out. We've got loads and loads of rad slimes. So what I was thinking about doing is what did rad slimes eat again? Uh, I've already forgotten. Uh, veggies. Okay, perfect. So Let's um, grab a load of these carrots. Okay. Now, the question is, we are going to go down into our base. Are the hybrid Largos still in the pen? They are. That is a good sign. <laughs> but what's going to happen if we put way more in here? Hopefully, this should be okay. And then I'm just going to whack in a load of vegetables. Like, loads of them. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got loads of these. I'm going to stick in a load of veggies. I need to start messing about with the auto feeders. I think that would be a really good idea. Let's give those guys a couple of seconds. Um, I also stuck, uh, took some harvesters and put them on here. So we've already got 24 phosphor plants. Nice. Oh, this is good farming, lads. This is good farming. Okay, so have these guys finished eating? I mean, we're going to get radioactive if we get a bit close. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at all these rad plants. All right, there's way too much food in there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so let's go and uh, collect these as well. Yeah, I don't see the benefit of, of farming hybrids. I mean, sure, they look really cool, but I don't know. I don't see the benefit. I think it's better to have loads of small ones and just farm one of each type. I feel anyway, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, okay, so let me grab some more of these. Oh, we're going to get so much money here. This is exciting. Okay, okay, let me, let me grab 30. Perfect. Okay, so we are on uh, 178 right now. So let's sell our rad plots. Oh, look at all the money. Yes. Oh, this is going to be really good. Look at that. Nice. Okay, and we'll sell the tabby plots as well because we've got them available. And, oh, just under 3,000. That might be a good way of doing things. And I've still got more plots here. I've got 15 honey. So, you know what? Let me just go and collect everything that I've got. Okay, so I think that's everything that I have in my, um, my corrals. So, let me put all of these in here. And, yeah, 3,600. <gasps> 454 for a gold slime. And we saw one. We actually saw one and it disappeared. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. Oh my goodness. But hey, at least we know that we can actually find them there. That's the first time that we've ever seen one. So that's probably a really good sign. Um, let me grab these carrots. Got so many carrots. The cool thing is we can um, store them, which is kind of the point, which is why I put the um, the storage thing in, which is actually really, really useful. And we can use them to explode Largos. So that's always good. And... Uh, our radiation slimes eat them, which is really, really useful because it gives us like an awesome purpose for them. Um, you know what? Let's grow some, let's grow some pogo fruit. Why not? Um, I'm gonna go and grab this. We have our cubries, which are nearly ready actually. Uh, they're all gonna fall off. Hey, cool. Okay, let me grab these. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go and feed some slimes. You know what? I think we've done a really good job today. Um, we've got more areas to explore, which are awesome, but we've opened up three brand new corrals. So, yeah, I'm not totally convinced that these hybrids are the way to go. Uh, they just seem like a little bit... Uh, I don't know. They, they don't give you that much. I think this is the way to go. Because this is crazy. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. And we, we're making loads of money from it as well. And you can see we've got 12 there already. So if we stuck an auto feeder on that, it might be a really good way to do it. These guys eat fruits, but we haven't got any right now. So let's just grab the plorts. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. So, 
Oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> so we've got that new area, which we have yet to explore, which is cool. I was also told about another Gordo slime somewhere really close that we just completely missed. So I think we'll try that next episode. Let's stick these carrots into storage. But for now, I think that is going to be about it for today's episode here in Slime Rancher. So I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you so much once again for your continued support on the series. It's so, so fun to record this. Uh, I love this game. It's absolutely brilliant. So thank you once again for tuning in and sharing some slimy moments with me. Uh, but yeah, okay, so if you did enjoy this, please remember to poke me in that like button before you leave. And also, if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Slime Rancher done fun. But until next time, once again for... No, thank you once again for watching, Even It has been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rancia!